Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here from today's iPhone.com, and this is your jailbreak news for today. Starting us off this week, I want to talk about Stifle Stand, which is a desktop application which allows you to hide the newsstand icon. Um, it's pretty easy to use. You don't have to be jailbroken. It is a desktop application, so the download links for it uh, for Windows and Mac are down below in the description of this video. And all you have to do is download the application, open it up, plug in your iOS device, and then press the icon hide, hide newsstand. And it's that simple, and it'll get rid of it. If you remember in iOS 5, we found we really couldn't do anything with newsstand as far as uh, you know putting it in a folder. Um, so we had to just deal with it being hidden on a far, far away page, or we you know jailbroke our devices and got rid of it. So this will allow you to do it, and you don't have to be jailbroken. Go ahead and hide that ugly icon. In other news, Hack in the Box is coming up on October 11th, and we can expect to see Pod 2G, Planet Being, and Muscle Nerd at this event. They're going to be participating in an iOS discussion panel, and they'll actually be live streaming this event on Ustream. So I will also leave a link in the description of this video for that event. Remember, it's on October 11th. Now heading into the tweaks after you guys this week, I have Quick Emoji, which is going to replace some keys on your iPhone's keyboard with the emoji icons that you love. And actually, if you hold down the icons, you'll actually get an expanded view of a whole bunch that you can choose from. It actually makes it really quickly to access these icons because it's kind of a pain having to press the world icon and scrolling through. Uh, it just replaces a few uh, of the keys like the exclamation point. Um, you guys can download it. It's absolutely free. It's quick emoji and um, you actually have no settings to configure. It just does it right away. So if you do want to get rid of it and you don't like it, just remove it and you'll be fine. And the other tweak to check out is Spotty Play, which is going to make Spotify the default music player on your iPhone. So when you open up your multitasking switcher, you're going to see the Spotify icon, not the music icon, which for someone like me who is like a Spotify junkie, that is such an amazing thing because I hate having to scroll through and find Spotify when it should just be right there and not that ugly music icon because I don't download music anymore. And that's going to lead us into this week's Tweak of the Week winner, which is iWidgets, which is a free tweak which allows for you to have HTML widgets on your springboard. It's really cool. It's iWidgets and it's free in Cydia. Go check it out. And that's going to wrap up the news for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I will be sure to respond. If you want to get in contact with me, all the social network links in the description of this video do lead to me, so feel free to click them. Otherwise, you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching, and as always, peace. Whoosh.